You're listening to The Big Iron Buzz. Welcome to our latest episode of The Big Iron Buzz, where each week we'll bring you the latest news and ag trends in the ag real estate and used equipment markets. This podcast is brought to you by Big Iron Auctions and Big Iron Realty, rural America's premier online unreserved auction site, bringing you rural connections, respected values, and real deals. I'm Drew Dolezal. I'm the host of today's show, and our guest today is Mark Stock, co-owner and co-CEO here at Big Iron. Mark, um, some difficult times right now in terms of both our global economy and public health. Uh, how is this impacting the online equipment and real estate markets? Well, uh, our business is geared up to handle large crowds because we don't have any on our sites. Uh, we have everything done online. The bidding is totally done online. And uh, we've kind of seen an uptick in the amount of items being sold this time of year, and we've seen an uptick in the amount of retirement auctions that we're currently conducting. Um, we're going to be selling, I think, close to 6,500 items over the next four weeks here on the Big Iron platform. Uh, we're going to have the first three auctions in April. They'll be right at 5,000 items. And we know the farmers and ranchers, they're still going to be planting their crops. They're still going to be tending to their livestock. Um, so, you know, the grocery store shelves will still be filled. And we're thankful that the farmers and ranchers uh, are able to do that for the American public. I know a lot of people had a lot of fear, uh, a, lot of, a lot of, you know, caution and concern, a lot of people hoarding, which is unfortunate, and emptying out a lot of stuff that they probably didn't need. But the grocery stores will still be filled by the farmers and ranchers that work tirelessly all the time. And having said that, you know, they still need to update their machinery lines because with the people that are retiring, they're giving up land and other farmers are picking up those additional acres. So they do need to add equipment to their operation. And farmers are constantly doing some shifting and trading around with machinery. So, and we're thankful that they use the big iron platform as one of the ways of doing that. But you know, this virus has a stock market, commodity markets kind of going in a roller coaster ride, more on the downward spiral than on the upward deal. But our machinery markets are still holding steady. We've got a lot of active bidding going on on our, on our auctions. That's because so many of the open outcry sales had to cancel or postpone their sales due to all of the regulations that were uh, put on by state and federal organizations, restricting crowd sizes and such. But um, right now we're seeing good values on some items. We're seeing high prices on other items. There's always a bargain on every sale, and there's always something that sells too high. That's just the way it goes, and I think it'll continue to do that. On the real estate side of our business, we've got several tracts of land that's selling, but we've seen the values actually increase a little bit because the interest rates for long-term money are are low. You can get million-dollar loans for under 3.5% on a 20-year basis from a lot of these uh, big lending institutions. So farmers that are willing to expand their operation are taking advantage of those opportunities, and that's why we're seeing real estate... uh, you know, hold its value and if not actually increase a little bit in certain areas. That's great. And you kind of answered my next question here for you. Um, I'm sure one of the most common questions you field in the past is now the right time to sell. What's your response here? Well, with an online auction, now is the right time to sell because the volume of traffic is so much larger than having an open outcry sale where you just have the people that come from a 50 or 75 mile radius to attend. Uh, you know, the equipment that we've been selling in the past goes coast to coast into Canada, into Mexico, and even abroad. And people watch our auctions from the convenience of our big iron auction app. So 62% of all bids received come in from this app. Now, while a lot of people are now confined or working from home, um, you know, we've actually seen an uptick in the attendance of our auctions. And that's primarily because all these other auctions have been shut down and uh, had to be rescheduled. So uh, now is a great time to sell because people are watching our site. And people, some people like to buy 
way in advance because they're pre-planners. And some people like to buy the month before they use it. Some people actually buy it when they need to use it. And with the big footprint that the Big Iron Auction brand currently has across North America, we see those folks all year round coming to the table, uh, coming to the auctions to bid. So some people like to sell for tax purposes. Some people like to sell uh, during use season. Uh, Some people just get tired of moving that piece of machinery in and out of the shed. Uh, So they say, you know, I'm pulling it out this time and I'm not putting it back in there because I didn't use it the last year or two. So now is a great time to sell, especially when you use an online platform like Big Iron. That's great. Um, This past week here, the Federal Reserve cut down interest rates. Uh, What's your advice to landowners or those looking to sell land? Well, you know, we had some retracements taking place a couple, you know, the last couple years in this land market. And now we've seen a stabilization, if not a little increase in certain areas. Now, there are still some areas that suffered some tough weather environments last year. Um and some economic changes uh, due to the prevent plant and the flooding has, you know, put a stress on a lot of the farmers. But with interest rates where they're at right now, we're seeing them steady to holding in the majority of the space that we're selling land. Uh, We sure seem to get a lot of calls from interested buyers, prospective buyers and bidders, uh, when land comes up for sale and it doesn't matter which part of the country it's in, there's always people willing to look for land as an investment. Now, with the sliding of the stock market, some people have jumped out of the stock market. Now they want to put some money back into uh, farmland and ranch land, and they hope that the, over time that land uh, you know, uh, gives them a steady uh, appreciation in value on their investment. So we see some of those folks coming uh, into the market now, too. That's great. Well, for those looking to buy some land, uh, we got some. We got several great properties for sale on Big Iron Realty right now. Um, we had a couple uh, uh, auctions today. One sold in Merritt County for a really good price, and another is going on currently right now, I believe, in Lancaster County. Uh, what do we got coming up here? Well, we've got uh, some land selling on April the second in Wallace County, Kansas. That's in the Sharon Springs area. Three different parcels. So if you're looking for an opportunity in that neck of the woods or if you've got some 1031 money to roll into a different um, property, those would be good uh, real estate areas. Uh, Mike Campbell is the real estate agent for the big iron realty side of the business that's handling those particular parcels. We also have some land selling on our online auction platform coming up April the 16th in Antelope County. And in Barton County, Kansas, that would be Antelope County, Nebraska, and Barton County, Kansas. So uh, those opportunities are available, some pivot irrigated land in Antelope County. Uh, So check that out. We do have some land that's going to be sold here in Pierce County, Nebraska, coming up uh, here before the end of April as well. Now, we do have several other tracts of land that are listed for sale uh, across the country, whether it's in South Dakota, whether it's in Kansas, whether we got some properties in Missouri, Uh, We're uh, working on some tracts of land in Nebraska and Colorado and Iowa as we speak. So keep watching our website. And uh, if you see some of these properties that uh, you have some interest in, just contact the real estate listing agent for more information. That's right. Um, So I'd like you to talk maybe a little bit about, um, you mentioned that we have some properties listed for sale via online auction, and then we do have some uh, listed for sale via private treaty. We all know the benefits of an online auction, uh, but could you maybe uh, do the back and forth between um, an online auction versus private treaty and what the advantage of selling land on an auction is? Well, the online auction... Anytime you have the word auction, it creates a sense of urgency, and that's what stimulates uh, the sale because everybody knows it's like Christmas, okay? You know Christmas is coming, so all the gals, they go out early and they get prepared, and all the guys like me, I wait to the last minute and buy it, yeah, Christmas Eve. But that's, but that's just the way it is. But when you have a, an auction, you've got a specific date and time when you're either going to have to bid or not, and that sense of urgency is what sometimes creates a great competition, creates the excitement, and, uh, you know, people just bid until they just can't take it anymore, okay? Uh, and the 
sometimes the, the winning bidder is thrilled because they they think they got a great buy, and sometimes the, the co-bidder wishes a day or two later that they would have bid some more. Um, but that's an online auction. Now, the private treaty method, it's a little slower moving in most cases. Um, you know, there's more negotiating uh, for that seller. Uh, the seller definitely, you know, when it, when it on an auction comes over, you look at the purchase price, you sign the papers, and you say, thank gosh, that's finished. But on a private treaty uh, listing, it usually takes considerably longer and that negotiation back and forth and back and forth sometimes is tiring for a lot of people. Um, you know, ultimately, at the end of the day, you know, our job is to represent the seller because we, our company uh, platform is uh, being sellers' agents. We don't work for the buyer in uh, the majority of our cases. But, um, you know, the private treaty method is another way to deal with somebody that doesn't like, you know, the sometimes the stress that comes from... Uh, an auction and some people aren't wired to handle that so then we just tell them that the smart thing for you to do is do it on a private treaty auction if you, if somebody's got you know uh, a lender involved and the lender doesn't want to accept proceeds from a no reserve sale we can't put it on our no reserve platform so let's switch gears here and talk a little bit about equipment um for sale online this week at bigiron.com well, our March 25th sale is a very large auction. We've got over 2,600 items selling on that sale. And uh, that sale is actually going to start one hour earlier to close out on all that equipment because um, of so many items. So if you're used to the 10 o'clock central start time, it'll be a 10 o'clock eastern start time. It'll be a 9 o'clock central, and it'll be an 8 o'clock mountain starting time. So please set your alarms earlier uh, than normal uh, so you uh, can participate in these first hour items that are selling on BigIron.com. But we've got equipment selling for TL Farms in Okeen, Oklahoma. Their sale features a 2014 Mac Don M205 dual direction wind rower. So please view that particular machine on Big Iron. They've also Got some additional items that we'll be selling uh, uh, on the sale, so please support those fine folks there in uh, Oklahoma. We do have some more additional equipment that's selling for Melvin and Marvin uh, Fichter uh, Estate. Uh, these folks, uh, they've got some nice equipment as well. They are in Otis, Colorado. They'll have 86 items selling on BigIron.com. They have a, a Crust Buster 3200 series drill. Uh, they have got a big uh, Bueller Versatile 375 four-wheel drive tractor. I believe they have two of those selling. They've got a big Krauss grain drill as well. They've got a New Holland 278 small baler and an accumulator. Those things are always uh, popular because they're very hard to find. They also have an 07 John Deere 4930 self-propelled sprayer that will be selling on their sale. Also check out some of their collector cars and trucks. They've got a 1954 Chevrolet Bel Air car, uh, and they have a 1950 Chevrolet 6400 series feed truck. So these are kind of unique items that uh, you don't see every day. They do have some combines, a John Deere 9670. They also have a 9660, and they've got several different heads for those machines, some Shelbourne stripper heads. So uh, check those items out selling in Otis, Colorado. We do have the Sandra Reekman retirement sale. Uh, that will take place on the March 25th auction as well. Sandra Reekman's from Alvo, Nebraska. They're selling a super sharp 1999 International 4900 series tandem axle grain truck, folks. Uh, white cab with a red box. It's really nice. They got a 2016 Ashland a dirt scraper. They've got one of these uh, JR Welding Roth six box seed caddies that are really, really nice. Their tractors include a John Deere 8225R. It's a mechanical front 2010 model. They've got the good old dependable John Deere 4450 two wheel drive. This is a 1989 model tractor, folks. They've also got a 9570 combine that will be selling. So please uh, support that particular group of machinery selling for Sandra Reichman on their retirement sale. We have the Wayne and Lynette Deuce retirement sale. They are from Odell, Nebraska. 
They've got a Shaben pull type sprayer. They got another one of these really nice tandem axle grain trucks. This time it's a Chevy. There's a 1990 C6500 uh, truck. This one's got a white cab and a blue box. So if you like uh, white and blue, this would be the one. If you're a Chevy guy or gal, there's the perfect match for you. They also have a Case IH Puma 145 mechanical front tractor with a loader that will be selling on their retirement sale. They've got several items too, including a Case IH 1660 combine and some heads that go with it. A lot of things that are really popular now too, folks, are some of these fuel barrels. The price of fuel has dropped tremendously, so people are taking advantage of and filling up their tanks and buying additional tanks uh, because we probably are all under the impression, at least my opinion, that you know, a few months from now, fuel is going to be up considerably against once uh, we get this virus thing under control. So those might be some of the things you might want to take a look at. We have the H&E equipment uh, selling a nice 2014 Genie Compact Rough Terrain Telehandler. This machine's located down in Pompano Beach, Florida. So even if you don't want to buy the machine, you probably could come up with a good excuse to go down and inspect it and maybe stay there for a while. Um, always nice to be in Florida when it's cold and snowy like it is going to be here uh, over the next days. But you know, the warm weather is coming. That's why uh, we know that farmers and ranchers uh, are looking forward to April. Uh, they're looking forward to uh, all the calving that's going on right now, even though they kind of dread it when the blizzard comes in. But it's always fun to watch that newborn calf get up right after it's born and find its mom. It's amazing to me how a calf um, can be born and 30 minutes later standing up and sucking. Uh, it's just, on, it's one of nature's beauties. It really, really is. But uh, we have a lot of things to look forward to here as we get into spring. I know we've seen some uh, commodity prices, like I said before, drop down, but I'm in the camp that that's just a, a short-lived cycle, and I do hope that it will return uh, to an upward trend versus a downward trend. Uh, we hope that the fuel prices actually uh, stop the battle and go up so the ethanol plants stay open because that's a big part of American agriculture is keeping the corn going through the ethanol plants. And all of those things said, we're just in a tough patch. Last year, this time, we were dealing with flooding. Um, and it uh, was a tremendous stress for a lot of people, and most people will never, ever forget that. And uh, now we've got the virus thing that I'm sure most people will never, ever forget that either. So stay safe, wash your hands, cough into your sleeve, practice that social distancing. And I know it is so true. It, it, you may be feeling well. Uh, but you may be carrying it. And uh, we got to take that stuff serious because I sure don't want my parents or my grandparents or my kids' grandparents getting sick because somebody was thinking they're Superman or Superwoman and it's not going to affect me. It may not affect you, but it could affect somebody else. Very well put, Mark. Thank you. So that's our show for today, folks. I'd like to thank our guest, Mark Stock, and remind everyone that the real estate mentioned on today's show can be found on BigIronRealty.com, and the equipment that was referenced is on the March 25th auction on BigIron.com. For the Big Iron Buzz, I'm Drew Dolezal. We'll catch you here next week. <laughs>